Hello, in this video we are going to explain how to generate trajectories for controlling the joints of a robot arm in Copelisim VREP. The aims of the presentation are on the one hand to explain how to configure joints of a robot arm to perform the precision control and also to set the joint limits among other parameters. The main goal is to explain how to generate a polynomial trajectory for robot joints with time specifications and also to control them by means of evaluating the, uh, the reference trajectory point at every time instant. On the other hand, Copelisim implements joint control through the RLL library, Reflexes Motion Library, that allows you to easily specify a target configuration, controlling aspects such as the speed and maximum acceleration. We will learn how to use the API for a specific function of this library to generate trajectories with a trapezoidal velocity profile. The robot arm we are going to use is the MeArm robot. In the video description, I have included a link with a file to download that will be used in this video. This robot has three motorized joints with ranges as indicated here. In the home configuration, all joints are positioned at 90 degrees. So, the first thing you must do is to properly set the joints. By default, joints are in torque force mode, which is the mode that we are going to use in this video. However, in order to control them, we must set their dynamic properties and enable the joint motor, and also enable the position uh, control loop through a PAD. In the figure on the left, I have highlighted three joints or the three joints on which we must set the configuration, in particular joint 1, joint 2 and joint 3. The remainder of joints, please leave them exactly as they are. In the figure in the middle, I have set the minimum position for each for the specific joint and also the range. While in the figure on the right, I have set the PAD parameters. I have to use these parameters to have a small integral and derivative action. We will make, or that will make easier uh, for tracking the reference with a zero, zero position error. In order to show the time plot of the position of the joints, we need to add a graph to our scene as shown. In this case, we must add three data streams to visualize the position of the first three joints. Make sure that you have activated the checkbox to show the time plots. And also you have set a proper buffer size as well as the corresponding or the desired color you want for a specific cure for each of the joints. You can also create a second graph in this case to show the joint velocities by adding in the data stream, not the joint position, but the joint velocity. A polynomial trajectory is defined by a set of parameters. In this case, we are interested in generating cubic trajectories because they provide a smooth velocity profile. They can be defined with just four parameters and they can be easily computed with some boundary conditions. Uh, such as, for instance, the, the initial and target configuration and also the initial and target velocity, in, which in this case I set to zero. These parameters will be different for each joint and must be recalculated every time we want to reach a new configuration. In the formulas, Q0 is the initial configuration and QT is the target configuration, while T is the overall time of the trajectory. In order to implement these trajectories, we first need to create a script associated to the robot base. On this occasion, we will use a threaded script since the RML library we are about to use needs to be executed in this type of scripts. So please define the function compute qubit trajectory in order to compute the parameters of qubit trajectories. The input arguments provided to this function are the initial and target configurations as well as the overall time of the trajectory, t. Robot configuration vectors, or sorry, robot configuration are vectors with the values of the three motorized joint positions. 
the function must return four vectors with the trajectory parameters for each joint. Now you must also implement a function named here evalqubi trajectory. This function accepts the trajectory parameters vectors we created before, as well as the time in the variable t, and provides as an out output argument the position of the joints in the vector variable q tray. Please fill the elements of the q tray variable with the cubic expression as indicated. Now you're ready to implement the moveapps j function provided here, intended to perform the joint control. This function emulates the well known instruction under the same name in the rapid language used in ABB industrial robots. Your goal is to complete the missing code in this function as well as the missing code in the compute qubit trajectory and evil qubit trajectory functions. If you are interested in implementing this code in a non-threaded script, then the evaluation of the trajectory as well as setting the joint target position should be done within the syscall actuation function. In that case, we are, or we are responsible to be in charge of providing the correct time value, which must be zero every time we are evaluating a new trajectory. On the other hand, Many industrial robots implement a trapezoidal velocity profiler. In this case, the maximum velocity as well as the maximum accelerations need to be provided for its join. Therefore, we can implement a trajectory as shown where the overall time for the trajectory will depend on the difference between the target and the initial configurations and obviously the maximum velocity and acceleration. This trapezoidal velocity profile is usually smoothed with an S-shaped profile, where the jerk of the trajectory is non-infinite. But the, RL, the, sorry, the RML uh, library we are about to use does not uh, allow to use these S-shaped trajectories, at least for now. So, to replicate uh, this behavior in Coplisim, we need to use the RML move to joint positions function that allows to move the robot joints from the current configuration to a target configuration. The first input argument of the function is a vector with joint handles to be moved. The second argument is just a flag that by default we will leave to minus one to indicate that all joints movements are coordinated and synchronized. The next two arguments are two vectors with the initial velocities and accelerations of the joints, while the next three arguments are the maximum values for the velocities, the accelerations, and the jerks of, of each joint. As I said, the jerk is the derivative of the acceleration, and limiting the jerk will provide the S-shaped trajectory, which is smoother than the tra trapezoidal trajectory. However, as I said, Copelisim doesn't support this because it's using this version 2 of the RML library. So, for JX vectors, we just simply need to provide a large value. The last two arguments of the function are actually the target position and the, velo the target velocity we want. Usually, we will create motions with a zero initial uh, and target velocities, but is, it is also possible to create, in this case, uh, uh, join the paths with non-zero velocities. The um, RML move to join position function is a blocking function, which means that the next instruction will be will not be executed until the movement has been completed. This implies that the code must be necessarily be implemented in a threaded script, as I said before. The function returns the reach position as well as the current joint velocities and accelerations that can be used or passed as input arguments the next time we use the same instruction. So now you are in the position to implement the moveAppCA function to control the joints with uh, time specifications, as I explained before, and also you can uh, uh, implement or use the RML move to joint positions to reproduce uh, the, demo, the demo that I'm showing here. Please observe. Not right now, it's it's generating the 
the set of instructions move, uh, with the moveapps.j function because as you can see the, the trajectory profile of the velocity is uh, quadratic but now it's actually generating the same uh, or the, the, it's trying to reach the same target configurations but in this case using uh, the function provided by the RML library please take a look to the, uh, the trajectory profile of the velocities to see the difference In this video, I have explained how to generate cubic trajectories for controlling uh, the joints of a robot, as well as how to use the RML library to control these joints. Thanks a lot.